let us discuss what is complex conjugate it's a very simple concept what is meaning of complex conjugate you are familiar with a z complex number z is equal to x plus i y then complex conjugate of z we denote it by z bar and that is equal to x minus i y that means what we have to do simply we have to change the sign of imaginary part okay so we get a complex conjugate let us discuss few examples if our z is equal to 2 plus 3i then can you tell me it's complex conjugate simply we have to change the sign we will have 2 minus 3i getting second example z is equal to 5 minus 8i then z bar is equal to see this time that imaginary part has a negative sign so when you calculate z bar we have to take positive sign so that means it will be 5 plus 8i that will be its complex conjugate okay let us discuss one more z is equal to minus 5 plus 2i then z bar is equal to so this time maybe you will get confused that minus 5 that 5 5 is also minus sign we need to change no okay don't change the sign of real part simply we have to focus only on imaginary part so that imaginary part has a plus sign so i will simply take minus sign that 5 will have a minus sign again minus 2i that will be complex conjugate of z if our z is equal to 8i then see 8i that means what it means basically 0 plus 8i real part is 0 imaginary part is 8 see so then our z bar is equal to 0 minus 8i that means simply we can write minus 8i okay next z is equal to 3 then z bar is equal to see keep in your mind if you have simply real number that means 3 plus 0 imaginary part is 0 i so when we take complex conjugate we need to write 3 minus 0 i but if you add 0 or if you subtract 0 value remain unchanged so that's why we will have z bar is equal to 3 only so what is what we learn from this when you have real number only its complex conjugate will be same okay this is a very important thing we can came to know you can make a screenshot of it after that we will discuss few properties of complex conjugate let us discuss few properties of complex conjugate okay so see if you have z is equal to x plus i y what will be z bar as you know so that is x minus i y z bar bar that means i am taking complex conjugate of a complex conjugate getting i am taking it twice so if you take its complex conjugate again you will have x plus i y that means we are getting original number so therefore what we conclude from it that is z bar bar is equal to z itself this is a very important property we came to know let us go for the second property okay so let i am taking z is equal to x plus i y then z bar is equal to what x minus i y see in previous video we have learned how to find modulus of a given complex number so let us find mod of z mod of z its formula is square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part and if you find mod z bar here what will we do square of real part same formula plus square of imaginary part but this time imaginary part is minus y so I suppose to write minus y square but you know that when you take square that minus sign will get vanished getting you will have some simply positive number since we are taking square so square root of x square plus y square so here also we are getting square root of x square plus y square there also we are getting square root of x square plus y square so what we learn from that so mod z is equal to mod z bar this property we came to know okay make a screenshot of it after that we will go for next properties now i will simply explain few properties you can try on your own to prove them okay so the next property third property is z1 plus z2 bar is equal to z1 bar plus z2 bar you can check by assuming z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 z2 is equal to x2 plus i y2 you can calculate both left hand side and right hand side and you will definitely find that both of them are equal getting so similarly i will state few more properties here 
so in case of subtraction also you can take separate separate complex conjugate you can take separate bars in case of multiplication also it will take some more time to uh, prove it but no problem you can you can also prove this one okay and in case of division also it is possible that means if z1 upon z2 and we are taking complex conjugate of that ratio then we, we will have z1 bar upon z2 bar so these are also very important properties which we frequently use in our results and examples also let us go further the next property so i am assuming let z is equal to x plus i y then z bar is equal to what what will be its complex conjugate obviously x minus i y what i am going to do i am going to add them so if you add z plus z bar yeah left hand side was easy but what about right hand side when you add right hand sides plus i y minus i y will get cancelled to each other and x plus x we will have simply 2x right so therefore i can write x is equal to z plus z bar by 2 but you know that x means what real part of z so we can write real part of z is equal to z plus z bar by 2 this is an important thing we have got here okay next property for next property again i will assume the same thing okay let z is equal to x plus i y then obviously z bar is equal to x minus i y what we had done last time we had added those left hand side and right hand side now i will subtract so what will happen z minus z bar i am going to subtract so if you subtract x minus x will get cancelled but if you subtract imaginary part already there is minus sign if you subtract minus minus plus so we have i y plus i y 2 i y so therefore y is equal to what i will shift simply that 2 i on in this side so we'll have z minus z bar by 2 i but as you know y means what imaginary part of z right y is imaginary part of z so therefore what can i write imaginary part of z is equal to z minus z bar by 2i so this is a important property we have got here okay you can make a screenshot of it there is minus sign hi okay so you can make a screenshot of it then we will go for one more property see the next property z into z bar is equal to mod z square okay we can check we can cross check okay so let us do that what will i do i will start with left hand side okay what is left hand side z into z bar i am assuming here z is equal to x plus i y x plus i y so z bar will be x minus i y so you are familiar with this formula a plus b a minus b so we get a square minus b square let us apply the formula here what will you get x minus sorry x square minus i square y square but as you know value of i square is minus 1 so this value we can put here so minus minus we will have plus so therefore we get x square plus y square so this is our left hand side let us work on right hand side now so what is my right hand side right hand side is mod z square so you know the formula of mod using square root right we find the value of mod so square root of z mod z means square root of x square plus y square but we have a square here so what will happen square square root will get cancelled and we will have simply x square plus y square so we are having a value of left hand side is x square plus y square and getting a same value of right hand side so that's why we can say left hand and right hand sides are same equal so that's why we can say yes this is true so in this way we seen nine properties here you can make a screenshot of it then we'll stop thank you bye bye